Hey guys, so it's time for another Art Addicts Alliance video and this is for the month of February and the theme that was chosen was endangered animals. As always, I have the poll for next month linked in the description below. Please go vote. We've got a really cool selection this time around. I mean, we have always got good selection, but I'm particularly excited about these. Um, we also have a featured artist this month. Her name is Stevie Biffin. And I will have her channel link down below. So please, please go check her out. Um, if you're interested in becoming a featured artist of the month, uh, please go shoot us a message over on Facebook. So you guys might remember that we did work with this theme about a year ago. I, I want to say it was probably April of last year. But a lot of members were very excited about working with this theme. A lot of them weren't around whenever we did that. And we threw it up on the poll and it won. And I am just really excited to see what they do because um, some of them like are actually artists who do purely like animals. And I'm just really excited to see what they do because we've got like a lot of diversity going on in the group right now and I love it. Um, so for me, though, I, and I mentioned this whenever I did my piece last year, is work, like, drawing animals is not something that really sparks a lot of inspiration for me. It's, I don't know, it, it's not something I really get excited about most of the time. So I just really liked the idea of kind of creating a sister piece to last year's piece and on one hand that might sound a little bit lazy but I really did like how last year's piece came out um, and so I wanted to do something rather similar so last year I did a blue whale and this year I did a giant panda um, I don't even know why I it was just it just sort of sparked an, an image whenever I was, like, looking up the list, um, this time, so I just went with it, um, and I did something rather similar where I picked one color and stuck with it for the most part, with the exception of the panda. I went for a blue on him just so he would stand out, um, but yeah, I really like how this ended up turning out. I really don't have much to say about it because, honestly, I actually whipped this off in, like, 45 minutes. It was, a very intuitive process honestly a little bit more um I want to use the word rough but that sounds bad but it, it's a little less detailed than the blue whale reflection there's a lot less layers on it but it was rather intentional I really wanted the background to be the background I didn't really want to like build up layers to the point that the eye was getting lost um or the panda was getting lost. So I kind of just, you know, I worked with a lot of wet on wet for that. Um, and no, it wasn't wet on wet, I guess. It kind of was. Um, like, I let, like, a lot of colors, like, kind of bleed into each other uh, for the background while they were still wet. Um, just to kind of give this, like, sort of soft effect. Um... Something that does bother me, though, is I did notice that the design is leaning a little bit. Like, whenever I stood up, I noticed that, like, a lot of the trees kind of lent a little bit more to the right. So, the whole design kind of looks like it's leaning. Um, but I still rather like how it turned out. So, remember to go check out everyone else's channel. Um, I have them all linked in the description below. And, like I said, remember to vote. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.